You see, Charles Darwin at least was objective enough to realise that the fossils, quote unquote, were no help to his theory. Uh, they were the weakest part. Read his chapter on geology, where he basically told us most assuredly they do not show vast changes, you know, simple, slow changes yeah. over millions of years. And he came up with a concept called living fossil. Living as in you and me, right? As in rose bushes, as in woolamai pine. You got that? Yeah. And, uh, living fossil, fossil, F-O-S-S -S means whole, I-L refers to what's in it. So when you dig up stuff out of the rocks, you can find fossil woolamise. And they look pretty much the same as the living ones. We, we mentioned the woolamai because it's the latest and most spectacular one. They thought it had been extinct for over a hundred million years. Wow. And then they found a small grove of them growing oh sort of goodness. northwest of Sydney. And uh, so it's become famous worldwide. And what's important about it is, well, I remember watching, you remember David Attenborough? I remember David Attenborough. He yeah. planted one in Kew Gardens, which is basically the most prestigious scientific gardens <laughs> on the planet. And David Attenborough is an atheist, evolutionist. Yeah. Sir David Attenborough. Oh, so, David, sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry, yes. Sir David Attenborough. And uh, he uh, planted a Woolamai pine in the gardens there and basically said, isn't evolution marvellous? This plant has remained unchanged for hundreds of millions of years. And you thought, lift up your foot, David, and shoot a hole through it, because you better get it out of your mouth before you do it. You're in yeah. trouble here, right?